Welcome guys, in this video we're going to be creating a pie chart in Excel using Office 365. So I prepared the data already. This represents the letter grades and the number of students who receive this grade. So as you can see we have 36 students and these are the distribution of the frequency of the grades that they received. So in order to insert any chart in Excel the easiest way is to select your data first, then insert the chart, instead of inserting the chart and then going and selecting the data. To select the data, you have to select the range of data that you have, and to do that, you press on the first cell, A1, drag till you highlight all your data. Make sure you don't select the total because this is not part of the data displayed it's just for the frequency distribution later on to insert chart look at the ribbon on the top go to the insert tab and look at the charts group and you will see all types of charts that you can do in Excel one of the option here is the pie chart if you click on the pie chart it's gonna insert the default one which is the two-dimensional pie chart. If you click on the arrow beside it, it's going to drop down a menu that has all the options. Remember that the pie chart displays numerical data by taking a circle and dividing it into slices that represent the category or the numbers. The difference between pie chart and a bar chart and why you might use a pie chart instead of a bar chart is the pie chart displays the percentages as well as the values. The property that we're going to change later on for a pie chart works for any of this. It's the same idea. So if you pick the two-dimensional or three-dimensional, it's kind of the same properties that you can do with either of them. We're going to choose the two-dimensional pie chart and this will give us the chart, title, and the legend. Now, once you insert the pie chart, you will see that another ribbon is added with two tabs, Design and Format for the chart tools. In the Design tab, you can add chart elements, like the title, you can remove it, you can add it, display it in different places, or click on More Title Options, and you can change the appearance and the color and the border of the title which we're going to do in a minute. The same thing you can do with the data label. You can display it in the center, inside, outside, or change the data option, which we're going to do also in a minute. You can choose one of the quick layout from the quick layout drop down. You can change the color. Or you can choose one of the preset here chart styles. Everything you do from here, you can also do it from here by clicking on the shortcut menu on the right. If you click on the plus sign, you will see the same thing that we saw over here in the add chart element. So you can display or and display the chart title. Click on the arrow and you will have the same option that we had over here. Same idea with the colors and the styles. And you can filter your data. All of this, you need to make sure that you are selecting the chart. So if you select any cell in the Excel, not the chart itself, you lose all of this. To get all the ribbons back, click on the chart. The ribbon is here and the shortcuts are here. Another option would be to right click on the chart area to get these options. If I right click on the chart area, I will get several options. I can format the chart area, change the fill to whatever color, outline, or select data change the chart type to bar chart and so on. 
but if you select the chart the pie chart itself and you right click on any of the pie then you can change the pie appearance and you can select several slices all the slices or just one slice another thing you can do is drag if you want to highlight one of the slices you can drag it or put it back in place so if you want to add the labels for this chart I can do that or I can do it for all of them which is the same as if you get it from the design tab over here so here what does it show I can show the values I can show the percentage for both of them I can show the category name I'm going to keep only the percentage here and you can scroll down and see where you want it in the center inside and outside and sorry inside and you see here a number click on the arrow to expand it and you can change the percentage to add the decimal places as you wish so if you want to keep two decimal places you do that if you want one decimal place you do that and you can change the format the other thing that you can do is change the color of the labels work with the properties to change it the way you want you can change the appearance to make it three-dimensional colors transparency and so on everything you do with the labels you can also do it with the chart so if you keep this open and you click on the chart itself you will get the same option and I can change the colors use a picture or make it automatic I can also change the border by changing the color of the border, the width, type, and so on. Remember that these properties, you can do them for pie chart, bar chart, and so on. If I click on the number of students, the title, I can do the same thing. Change the color to whatever color you want. You can change the appearance, you can change the borderline, and the color of the borderline. You want it round. And also you can change the position and the alignment. And that works for any chart as we said. And you're going to see it in other videos when we do bar chart or a column chart. The last thing I'm going to look at today is moving this chart to another sheet. You can do that by right clicking and you can see here move chart or move chart at the top over here. It's going to ask you where do you want to move it to. The default is being an object in this sheet. I'm going to move it to another one and I'm going to call it pie chart. Click OK, and you will see that now the pie chart is a sheet by itself, not in the same sheet anymore. Thank you for watching, and we're going to do later on several other charts. So look for the other videos to learn how to do the other charts in Excel.